Good morning children. How are you? Hoping all of you are fine and safe. Dear students, in the previous class we have completed chapter 2 Physical Quantities and Measurement. Today we are going to start new chapter, chapter number 4 Simple Machines. Students, in this chapter we will learn about work in energy, second simple machines, third types of simple machine, fourth functioning of simple machines, fifth efficiency of a machine, and last care of machines now work and energy we will see work and energy whom we will say work let us see the term work is understood in everyday life has a different meaning in scientific language in physics work is said to be done if a force acting on the body moves it or change its position or shape in the direction of force acting on the body Dear students, these are the examples. We will see some examples related to the work. A boy picking his school bag from the ground. This is called a work done. A girl riding a bicycle. This is the example of a work. Third, girls playing hockey. It is also the example of work because there is displacement also and force is also being applied. A man pushing a pram. Pram means a small vehicle uh, which is by whom a small baby played. Bachon ki gaadi. Pram means bachon ki gaadi kehte hain. However, when a body does not move even when the force is applied on it, work done is zero. In the following examples, no work is done. Let us see some examples. First, a child standing with his bag and waiting for the school bus does no work does no work as he is not moving a boy is uh, picking his bag lifting his bag but he is not able to lift it so there is no movement in the bag after using force applying force also that's why it is said that there is no work Next example is similarly when a person pushes a tree he is also not doing any work because there is no movement in the tree by applying force. So for work it is necess necessary that if, a, if we are applying force by applying force on an, any object and when the object moves from its position then only we can say that work has been done otherwise there will be no work. Next topic we will see about energy. Whom will say energy? Dear students, energy is the capacity or cap, uh, ability to do the work. This is called energy. Let us see here. The term work and energy are very closely related to each other. Ever since we wake up in the morning, we start doing a number of activities after getting up. We take bath, leave for school, study play and do various other activity that engages the whole day you must have noticed when you play or work for a long time you get tired this is because when you work energy in your body gets used up in fact to do work one need energy therefore we can define energy as the ability of a body to do work so we may say that energy is the cause and work is the effect. So that's why we can say that energy is the capacity or ability to do the work. Now next topic is simple machines. Let us see. In physics, a machine is an object that allows us to perform a task with lesser effort than if we do it ourselves without any help. Machines can either be simple or complex there are two types of machines simple machine and complex machine so let us see first simple machines simple machines are basic mechanical device that we use in our daily life in our everyday life such as scissor door knobs bottle opener pencil sharpener hammer board pins sewing needles etc complex machines are made up of combination of two or more simple machines for example a bicycle which has wheel lever and pulley is a complex machine 
सो कॉम्प्लेक्स मशीन इज द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू और मोर सिंपल मशीन नेक्स्ट वी विल सी इन दिस चैप्टर वी लर्न मोर अबाउट सिंपल मशीन देन अ सिंपल मशीन वर्क ऑन द प्रिंसिपल दैट इज नीदर प्रोवाइड्स एनर्जी बाई इट सेल्फ नो डज एनी वर्क ऑन द ऑन इट्स ओन इट वर्क ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओनली वेन वी डू सम वर्क ऑन इट बाई अप्लाइंग फोर्स द फोर्स अप्लाइड ऑन द मशीन्स टू डू वर्क इज कॉल्ड एफर्ट डिनोटेड बाई कैपिटल ई एंड द रिजल्टिंग फोर्स एक्जर्टेड बाई द मशीन इज कॉल्ड लोड एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाई कैपिटल एल नेक्स्ट वी विल सी मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज वॉट इज मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर टू अंडरस्टैंड इन रेफरेंस टू सिंपल मशीन इज मैकेनिकल एडवांस एडवांटेज द रेशियो ऑफ द लोड लिफ्टेड बाई अ मशीन टू द एफर्ट अप्लाइड ऑन इट इज डिफाइंड एज मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज देयर फोर मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज मीन्स एम ए इक्वल्स टू लोड एल अपॉन एफर्ट ई एल अपॉन ई नाउ मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज ऑफ अ मशीन कैन बी ग्रेटर देन वन इक्वल टू वन और लेस देन वन देर इज देर आर थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज नाउ लेट अस सी ऑल दिस पॉसिबिलिटी इफ मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज इज ग्रेटर देन वन मीन्स दैट लोड इज ग्रेटर देन एफर्ट एंड वी से दैट द मशीन इज अ फोर्स मल्टीप्लायर therefore mechanical advantage is a measure of the force applications that means how much times the magnitude of force has multiplied achieved by a machine note that mechanical advantage is a pure number second possibility is if mechanical advantage is smaller than 1 this means load is smaller than effort and mechanical advantage is equal to 1 this means load is equal to effort from the above expressions it is clear that if the mechanical advantage of a machine is more we need to apply less effort and vice versa now dear students we will see types of simple machines there are six types of simple machines lever inclined plane pulley screw wheel and axle and wedge let us now study them in detail first we'll see about levers lever a lever is a rigid bar or rod that can move about a fixed support or point this fixed support or point about which the lever rotate is called fulcrum a lever is used to lift heavy weights with minimum amount of effort for example in order to move a big stone with hand or with the help of rod a person need to apply a lot of force but if a, a small stone is kept as a support below the rod and force is applied from the other end the stone moves with lesser effort let us see in this example the big stone is the load and the force applied is the effort and the small stone which provides support is known as fulcrum to understand the principle of a lever consider a rod with fulcrum at point f at the end of the rod effort e is applied which lift the rod load l at the other end of the rod the difference between the fulcrum and the point where effort is applied is called effort arm and the distance between the fulcrum and the load is called load arm so dear students what is load arm the distance between load and fulcrum is called load arm and the distance between effort and fulcrum is called effort arm let us see since a lever up amplifies the input force the load gets balanced by the effort applied about the fulcrum so we have the expressions load into load arm is equal to effort into effort arm or we can say load upon effort is equal to effort arm upon load upon effort is equal to effort arm upon load arm that is called mechanical advantage this shows that mechanical advantage can be greater than 1 equal to 1 or less than 1 when effort arm is greater than e greater than equal to or less than the load arm respectively 
some examples of lever that we use in our day to day life are hammer tongs scissor plier nail clippers etc lever are categorized under three different classes class 1 lever class 2 lever and class 3 lever this classification is based on the position of fulcrum load and effort in different classes so dear students today this much only we will see next in the next class thank you and take care